Hey guys, this is XFoxRC here, and this is going to be sort of another unboxing video, I guess you can call it. Um, this time again, I got another 1 uh German tank here. So, the reason I got this one, it's technically the same version as um, it, that I had before, and um, it, but the only thing different with this one is it doesn't have the, the uh, painted color scheme, but it does have all the smoke and the infrared shooting and all that. But the biggest upgrade here is this. I want to show you guys this right here. These are straight up metal tracks. Now, I mean, these are far superior to these plastic tracks that I got here on this one as well as my other tank up there. So on this one, you can see that, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and throw probably these metal tracks onto uh, my other tank that's painted and, uh, you know, basically use these so they don't pop off. All right, so I hopped ahead here, guys. As you guys already know, this is my other tank here. Basically, it's the same tank, um, but it has this uh, sort of this different color scheme on it. It's got all the same functions. So what I'm going to do with this one is take off uh, the tracks on here and, of course, put on these metal tracks. And these things are just sweet looking. So you'll probably see me have a video of that or run it with these metal tracks on here. Um, but that's one of the main reasons why I got this tank because technically this tank was almost just as much um, on that tank, or sorry, on this tank I paid more for the paint job than the accessories. So the only thing different with this one is I got the metal tracks instead of the, uh, you guys can hear that there, instead of the, uh, the color paint job. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we got here. So technically, yeah, I've already taken it out of the box. We'll take the tank out last. Um, well, maybe we might have to take the tank out. There we go. Yeah, so we got the standard uh, you know, channel remotes that I got with the other one. Pretty simple. I mean, basically this controls all of the movements here. So forward, back, right, left, creep, creep, you know, whatever. Um, if you hold this up, it fires the cannon and it does it repeatedly. So as long as you hold it up, it goes uh, when you hold it down, of course, it, uh, lower and raises the, um, the turret, uh, angle, which you want to shoot. And then right and left moves the whole top, spins the whole top. So it's a pretty, you know, pretty handy remote, pretty basic, but it does the job. Then, of course, yeah, we got the charger, which, you know, I never use. They do give you a, uh, oh, wow, a 1,700 milliamp battery. It's pretty crazy. I never thought they'd make these anymore, but uh, I put a 5,000 milliamp battery in, uh, in the other tank here, and that thing ran for, oh geez, I think I ran it for two hours outside and when I charged the battery, I barely used half. So, I mean, this this will definitely run it, you know, run it very, very well. Of course, you have the uh, the little RC pellet BBs, which are going to be great to shoot. A whole bunch of these. I mean, the, I, I haven't even shot my whole box from the other one yet. Let's go check this here. Of course, we got the uh, accessory kit here, if that's what you want to call it. And oh my gosh, this thing is wet. Oh yeah, it looks like they forgot to. Uh, looks like they forgot to put the cap on top of this smoke stuff here, or something. Yeah, that thing's leaking pretty bad. Anyway, that's the smoke stuff that'll cause smoke to come out the. Uh, so when it's running, you have smoke coming out the back of it to make it look more realistic. Of course, you have a few extra tracks for the plastic ones, uh, just in case they uh, break. And this is what I used last time when my thing broke. And yep, and the little accessory dudes here, and some of the accessories you can put on there. This guy, of course, comes out the top. And you can just stick them there and make it look a little more realistic. So uh, it's almost again exactly what I got with my other one here. And now let's go ahead and take out the tank here. Yep, and let me just check this out. Yeah, we got the antenna here on on this back side. They put. Checking this out, and yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, pretty much just like my other tank with the uh, without the paint job. That's all. So the smoke actually comes out here when you're driving, so it actually looks pretty cool because when you're going, the little smoke comes out. Um, if you guys didn't already know, let me, let me just try to uh, get this piece of tape off here. This is, of course, where you where you can turn off and on the actual gun on the top in case you want to let a kid play with it and you don't want him to fire. This, of course, up top here is where you actually put the BBs as well as the little dude that sticks out, like the little commander guy. And, of course, I'm going to show you guys the bottom of this thing here really quick just in case you guys are curious. Here's where the battery goes. 
Really, really simple to put in. You have the uh, the smoke options down here. You can turn it off or on. On my other one, I turned it off after the first time. Just really didn't need them on. And then, of course, you have your overall on-off. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty cool tank right here again. You guys can see it compared to my other one here. Two exact same tanks, except this one has the uh, um, has the uh, paint job. And this one won't. And again, I'm going to put the metal tracks on my tank here just to sort of pimp it out. But they both have the infrared on it. And I hope you guys can see this. You can see it right here. A little infrared uh, light that technically when you shoot, it shoots. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty cool tank. I, I haven't battled these things yet, but I think it will be pretty cool if I maybe take my work and, and do some battling. But, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, like this unboxing video, sort of. And hopefully I'll get some uh, running video of the tank with the metal tracks in there because this is going to be sweet. Thanks again, guys.